So that there was the perfect example of your Mobot 800 going back to the base station and connecting with its charging pins. Now what happens for some customers, it will not connect, it will do laps because it can't get back to the base station, it can't get that signal because it has a fair push to connect with the charging pins. So what I'd like to do is actually walk you through and show you what you need to do to ensure that your base station is set up correctly so that you don't have that problem. Okay, first part of making sure that your base station is set up correctly is your boundary wire. You need at least 2.5 meters of straight line coming from your base station. Now, if we go a bit closer here, and remember, I've only just set this up uh, for the demonstration today. You'll notice here there's an arrow. That arrow is really important because that arrow is telling you that the wire that comes from the negative comes out the front here, and that's where it needs to be located so that your front wheel can land in this triangle correctly so that it can connect to the charging pins. Because remember, you've got to look at the robot. I mean, if you look at the front of the robot here, they have two metal plates that ram through and that's where your charging pins will connect to the robot so it can charge correctly. Now, that's not the only issue though. This is a part of the issue that people face and sometimes issue is compounded by their surface area. Now, this here you'll notice, uh, it might be hard to see in the video, but it's level, it's flat. There's no issues. And this is where your subsurface can create issues. Now, to even explain with this area, you can see here it's flat, but then it starts raising up a little bit. Now, I know that if we set up the base station here where it's not level, we'll start creating issues because it's not sitting on a level surface. In the circumstance where your ground isn't um, level, you may need to use a mattock or a shovel, etc., to level out the ground and dig it in correctly. Uh, and the same with the surface out the, the front of the robot. If this is uneven or there's divots, it will mean that your robot is not traveling along smoothly and it may create it to land on the wrong angle. So it might hit here, it might then go off a bit of an angle, it won't connect correctly. So my advice is spend the time to level your station correctly, consider your subsurface and make sure that you do it correctly so you only need to do it once.